Hello, my name is Brian Crawford, and uh, for some time I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel um, sort of devoted to two things that I really enjoy, two hobbies of mine. Um, one is, is vaping, and uh, the other is pipe smoking. Um, and uh, I've been thinking about this for a couple of months, and I haven't actually done anything. Um, uh, but I was finally sort of compelled to, to at least try this out. Um, to at least maybe, you know, put something together um, and sort of just see what happens. Um, and what compelled me was a uh, was an e-liquid uh, that I purchased recently. Um, at first, I really loved this e-liquid. I mean, I thought that I had found the one. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the more I smoke it, the more, um, the more I lose a little bit of... Um, I lose a little bit of that magic uh, that I had, you know, maybe the first day or two of smoking it. Uh, the liquid that I'm talking about, by the way, is um, is Uncle Junk's John Wayne, uh, a part of their Genius Juice um, collection. Here's the uh, here's the bottle. Um, uh, right now, I've got the uh, 18 milligram. Uh, version and uh, it's got an expiration date on there which is I don't know kind of interesting I guess um, good to know um, it'll certainly I'll certainly have finished this by July of next year so um, John Wayne is their uh, is their tobacco flavor I guess you could say of, of their genius juice collection um, but it's not just a straight tobacco uh, flavor. It's 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 sort of cut with. Um, I think it was described to me as a sort of a vanilla flavor, um, but I don't I don't get vanilla at all. Um, I get a much creamier flavor, um, a much more a much sweeter flavor um, than vanilla. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, if I could use any one sort of word to describe it, I would I would say creamy. Um, uh, but the but there is that sort of that 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 tobacco taste. Now, I do want to say that I when I first got into vaping, um, I thought that you know I'd be uh, I would only smoke. Uh, I'm sorry, I'd only v vape um, sort of uh, juices that tasted like. Uh, tobacco, um, and I tried several tobacco flavors out, um, and to me they either taste synthetic or they just taste like they taste like ass. <laughs> it's really the only word I can use, um, and uh, yeah, I, I've just been really unimpressed uh, with the tobacco flavor, and I, you know, I, I enjoy the taste of tobacco um i do uh but it just to me it just at least at this time it has not been mimicked properly in an e-juice or at least not mimicked well enough in a way that i can enjoy just that taste um and so i'd been thinking for a while like oh man it would be perfect if you could have a tobacco flavored e-juice that's maybe sort of subdued with a, a sweeter taste, maybe a fruity taste, um, but, you know, some kind of taste that could sort of just round it out, um, soften it a little bit. And uh, I, I had been, for the, for the past week, I had been um, vaping uh, a juice called Andromeda by Space Jam. Um, which is a fruity uh, liquid, um, and I went through it pretty quickly. I mean, compared to what I had had before that, like this was like, you know, this was pretty good. It was not great, but it was pretty good. Um, a little perfumey, I might add, um, about the Space Jam Andromeda. It's a pomegranate. Pom pa pomegranate taste uh, mixed with another fruit which I cannot remember at the moment um, 
But uh, yeah, I, it, I I hear people talking about stuff tasting a little perfumey, and this was definitely in line with that. Um, so I was running low. Um, I was running low on that, and I needed a new e-juice. Um, so I went to the local B and M um, that's near my work, and uh, I got to talking with the sales lady, and uh, she pointed me in the direction of uh, of the John Wayne, and um, yeah, I mean it. It took like two, three hits for me to be like, okay, yeah, this is this is it. This is you know this is definitely something that I'm gonna um, that I'm gonna not just try, but that I'm gonna like. Um, Oh wow, there was like no, <laughs> there was like no cloud on that. <laughs> but normally, normally it actually is a a pretty cloudy flavor. Um, it does uh, produce quite a bit of of, of haze. Um, I'd say. Let me let me let me try that one more time. Eh. Um. Yeah, I mean, as far as taste goes, it's it's pretty it's pretty damn good. Um, I'd say for the first two days of having it, it was like it was just amazing. Like I just like I I felt like I had found heaven with it. Um, it's it's really good. Like I said, it's a uh, it's a tobacco uh, flavor, sort of softened with. Um, Mm, I want to say, but like maybe like it's almost like a butterscotch, really. Um, maybe a caramel. Um, but yeah, it's it's softened with a very with a very sweet sort of flavor to it, and um, I think as I the as I as I vape it more over to, over a longer time, um, I think that creaminess is actually starting to get to me a little bit. Like, um, like I kind of like I like to balance it out with another, um, like with another flavor, you know. Like a, I'm, a, to this night I've been sort of um, balancing it out a little bit with a uh, with a with another fruity sort of flavor, um, because it's just it's 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 really kind of rich, um, which I don't want to say that. Like, I don't want to say like that's not my thing per se, but like it's getting a little. It's like it's heavy. It's 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 a little too much to use as as my everyday vape, um, which is what I thought. I, I mean, originally, like I said, I loved it at first, and I, I just thought that this would be my everyday uh, vape. Um, but it's it just the more I vape it, the the, the richer it, it seems to be, um, and I and I, I need something that's just a little bit softer. I think as far as my taste buds are concerned, um, and everybody you know everybody has their own different tastes, um, but as far as my taste buds are concerned, I I, I think I prefer um, lighter um, tastes like like very subtle sort of taste like oh hmm there's like maybe a hint of grape in that rather than like oh my god I'm sucking on like a like a grape jolly rancher um yeah I mean it's it's pretty damn good though you know don't get me wrong I mean this is this is some pretty legit shit right here and um yeah, I'll probably buy a couple of more of these when I'm when I'm done with this one. I've got a whole uh, a whole slew of shit coming in uh, in the mail. Um, some stuff that I'm really excited about. Some stuff from uh, Velvet Cloud, um, as well as VapeJuice.com. Um, uh, so um, I'm looking forward to those, and I'm gonna try to get a couple of reviews up once uh, once I've tested those out. But um, but yeah, I mean, this Uncle Junk stuff is, uh, this John Wayne is, is, is really good. Um, if you can, you know, if you can pick this up, I'd recommend it, especially if, uh, 
not so much if you're like if you're like a tobacco person like you want that tobacco taste i'd have to say i mean it's supposed to have that tobacco taste and it's supposed to have that sweet taste right um but to me it's like it 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 leans heavier towards the sweet end rather than the tobacco end and i think for me personally i kind of wish it leaned a little bit more towards the tobacco end um, but yeah, I mean, this is good stuff. Um, I bought it at the BM at B&M, so it was, you know, a little bit pricier than, you know, if I had gone online, but, you know, I like to support local business, especially local vape business. So, um, yeah, check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope there's more coming and, uh, if you like what you see, uh, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.